Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis and in this short video we're going to factor this degree 5 polynomial. Now, if we were to factor this using the fact theorem, it would take us a long time. The possible factors, there are four of them, are listed there, x plus or minus 1 or 2x plus or minus 1. And obviously we'd have to find the first factor using the fact theorem, then do long division or equating coefficients to get the quotient and that would give us a degree 4 polynomial. Then we'd have to use the fact theorem on the degree 4 polynomial and go again to get a degree 3 and so on. And the question would be a long question. However, notice here we've got 2 to 1 and 2 to 1. So something's happening here and we can group these. So And that's the real key here. So what I'm actually going to do is take our polynomial and I'm going to take x to the 4 out of the first two terms. So if I take x to the 4 out of the first two terms, I get 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to take a negative 1 out of the next two terms. And if I take a negative 1 out of the next two terms, I get 2x plus 1. And that's what you have to spot. You have to spot that you've got that 2 to 1, 2 to 1, if I take a factor out. So in other words, I've got a common factor now by grouping this in a clever way of 2x plus 1. So now I can factor out the 2x plus 1. So how many 2x plus 1s do I have? Well, I've got x to the power 4 of them here. How many 2x plus 1s do I have here? I've got a minus 1 of them. You don't normally write the minus 1 in there, but there it is. When you've got a negative outside a bracket, I've got minus 1. So very quickly, we know that this degree 5 polynomial is 2x plus 1 times x to the 4 minus 1. It isn't that cool. So now we can go further. So now x to the 4 minus 1 is a quadratic in disguise. I did another video about that. Um, it's the difference of two squares. So of course, x to the 4 minus 1, if I just do this on the side here, if I let x squared equals a, then x to the 4 is a squared, and you can see x to the 4 minus 1 will be a squared minus 1. Well, a squared minus 1, of course, factors to a plus 1 times a minus 1. So this factors to a plus 1 times a minus 1, but of course, x squared is a, so, and some of you may have spotted that already, that you can write x squared minus 1 and an x squared plus 1. So x to the 4 minus 1 is a quadratic in disguise. So you don't have to use the factor theorem there either. Recognize that it's quadratic in disguise. Finally, we're nearly finished. And obviously, x squared minus 1 is a simple difference of two squares. So it's x plus 1, x minus 1. And x squared plus 1 does not factor. Um, if we were to uh, uh, solve x squared plus 1 equals 0, we'd get imaginary roots, wouldn't we? There's no real solutions. And so we factored that degree 5 polynomial very quickly. Um, so do look for grouping and do look for quadratics in disguise. These methods will save you a lot of time. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, watch some of my other ones. I'm going to do some other factoring polynomials videos and make any comments and suggestions below and have a great day. Thank you.